What's up guys, so today we want to talk about some tools and techniques if you're switching from controller to mouse and keyboard or you're thinking about it or we just want to improve your aim on PC using a mouse and keyboard. Now I'm not saying you're going to be shy after watching this video but I'm going to give you some tools and techniques in my practice routine that help me improve my aim switching from controller to mouse and keyboard. So now let's go and get right into it. The first aim exercise that I will start off with is Precision Microsoft where the target shrinks over time. In precision mode, work on your precision and accuracy of your flick shot and not working on snapping to the target as quick as possible. So again, in precision mode, focus on hitting the targets and not on the speed. We'll get to that in a second. And the best two exercises in precision mode that helped me improve my aim were micro shot and spider shot. Now with micro shot, you're covering the small area of small flicks in front of you on the screen. As with, with spider shot, it works on your precision and cover more areas to snap to compared to micro shot. It covers a wider area of targets for you to hit on the screen from left to right and top to bottom. And for those two exercises, I do at least three sets when I'm working on my aim. For beginners, I suggest five sets for a total of 10 minutes of practice. And you take 30 to 45 second rest in between sets. So here's a great moment in Apex Legends of me using the wingman. I was able to snap to his opponent and I was able to send that player right back to the lobby. And these are the moments that I practice for guys. That I put in that work for that I grind every single day. And that's the key. You have to work consistently every single day guys to work on improving your aim. After working on precision, transition to speed mode. And with speed mode, this works on your reflexes and reaction time. Again, do at least five sets of micro flick and spider shot each for a total of 10 minutes of practice time. Work on your aim. And so if you combine precision and speed, you have a total of 20 minutes of work on your aim. Now, if you work on both at the same time, go to the flicking category in aim lab or ultimate mode to work on speed and precision at the same time. And so if you add another 10 minutes to that, that's a total of another 30 minutes of you working your aim and pressing. And the biggest thing guys that you have to work on doing it consistently over time, doing it every single day if you want to improve your aim. You're not gonna wake up overnight with great aim. You have to work on it every single day to improve muscle memory. I know it's a grind, but put on your favorite music when you work on your aim to help you get through it. And then, you know, you don't grind, you don't shine. Next, cover tracking. To work on tracking, I use Kovacs FPS Trainer. The reason why I like using this tracking system compared to Aim Lab is that you can work on horizontal and vertical tracking and work on tracking at ascended levels. In Apex Legends, there's a lot of fast movement. So this helped me with tracking using the mouse and keyboard and also tracking on high ground, low ground, etc. And again, I use 10 minutes of work of uh, working on my tracking with a mouse and keyboard. So again, a total of 40 minutes of work on my aim using aim lab, working on precision and speed, and now using callbacks to work on my tracking and also my aim. And so now the last part is with movement, with aim and tracking. Now to combine everything that I worked on so far. Now with callbacks has many different scenarios to work on for Apex Legends and also for other games too like PUBG, Fortnite, Overwatch, etc. But now we're focused on Apex Legends. For Apex Legends it has all the weapons and scenarios like Apex Legends Warm Up, Apex Legends Deathmatch, Solo Buster the Squad, Hit Fire, etc. And I use this tool for 10 to 15 minutes also to work on movement, aim, and tracking. So guys you have a total of nearly a whole hour of training of working on precision, speed, movement, accuracy, but again the biggest thing is working on these tools every single day. Just being consistent, work on it every single day, and you're talking to a player that transitioned from using the controller to mouse and keyboard this March, this past March. So I have a total of three to four months of practicing of using just a mouse and keyboard and I and I still continue to practice using these tools every single day. So that's a that's the biggest thing is that you have to be consistent. You have to practice every single day or at least five days a week. If you take that 30 to 45 or an hour to practice, you will see improvements dramatically. It will take at least a month or two, but I can guarantee if you practice every single day, then you'll see improvement, guys.
Thanks for watching and you click on the links below for AIMLAB which is free on Steam and Kovacs FPS training which costs $9.99 but it's definitely worth it if you're switching from controller to mouse and keyboard or you just want to improve your aims so make sure you click on the links below and make sure you watch my previous videos on Apex Legends and make sure you like and comment down below if these tools help you or what you'd like to see next. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Jungle.